Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about maybe how to slowly come off medication, maybe or maybe not, depending on you and God. So basically, you know, I know I've said in one of my previous videos about, you know, it's not for us to be mentally ill or be ill at all but sometimes God puts us in these positions to train us and teach others to cope with lifestyle situations and also problems that come in their, in their early life or later life and, and any kind of disease or illness illnesses that people get you know Sometimes it's good that we get these illnesses or diseases or whatever it is. We get it's a good thing that we get it so that we can teach other people that are just just have it or just started it or whatever. You know, by what I do as well on my vid my videos, I hope I'm hoping that I encourage viewers that are watching this video or subscribers. So you know, don't beat yourself up about it if you're if you're mentally ill for a long, long time, or you think you're going to be on it for for the rest of your life. Don't beat yourself up up about it. Just carry on and just 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 you know take it as it comes and just obey God if you can, and just go through it, go through go through the situation and problem gently and just. As, as best as you can and don't stress yourself over it and basically when I mentioned in my previous video about my discharge I think it was in a I think it was in a part one part one video let me just see something so yeah that was in a you know how to control your mental illness slowly of medication or medications part one or four or five or maybe six so in our video I said that I'm going to be discharged I've, dis I've been discharged on the 7th of April 2015 and I recorded that video on the 12th of April and that that discharge I spoke about it was basically to be discharged from the that one that one was specifically about discharge it was to do with being discharged from the CPN although it was mentioned CPN and CPN stands for care practitioner nurse and basically in in more English terms if you like it's basically an, a nurse that oversees your well-being and your your mental health, your mental well-being, and and see if you're coping all right on medications, and your and just o your overall health, and see if you're to see if you're safe, and and it's basically another way of saying it's like a parent or guardian, but these guys or ladies specialize in mental illness, and they specialize in keeping us well and and out and out of trouble by our behavior and try to keep us calm and making sure that we're doing the right things and not doing anything wrong or getting into trouble or getting ourselves scammed by anyone or just to just to prevent us from from being too vulnerable because without the help the CPN without the help the CPN we are we are we are more vulnerable to outsiders that will take advantage without the CPN if that makes sense so that that and it's also for safety for protecting anyone that protecting protecting us people like me protecting protecting myself from me harming anyone or or myself being harmed or it's just for safety if you know what I mean I'm sure you get what I'm saying so that's what a C that's what a CPN is and I've been discharged from one back in that on that date 7th of April but, but the thing is, 
with that I was still under another under another service called the primary care service but that name might change I don't know if they're always going to be called that because names change from time to time it's basically an out, out like an out outsource um, department that sort of like look, looks after your medication they 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 specific they're specifically focused on your medication so yeah um what is she? so yeah they're specifically focused on oopsie trying not to see that trying not to try, I'm trying not to let you see that so they specifically the primary care team are specifically focused on medication the primary care team so yeah but uh, that 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 primary care team is is they only support you for about a year a year and a half or depends on what their what their decision is but for me they supported me for a year and a half and now what is happening is they're actually they're discharging me from that as well and this is the actual letter that I got in a, in the post today or you could say in the morning and it basically just says the date it just says the date and the uh, place I have to meet and you don't have to see that I think if anything you can just pay attention to the date so Monday the 17th of October 2016 at 12 p.m. saying what is it saying we just whoops I am writing to inform you inform wait a minute inform writing wait a minute writing writing to inform you that an a that an out outpay outpatient appointment has wait a minute has wait a minute has been arranged for you for for you whoops this for you with for you with whoopsie bit of an itch sorry unprofessional for you with doctor Gregory Kini at that place with the the date that I've shown you as well and it just says further on if you cannot attend this appointment please let us know as soon as possible on our number <coughs> as the time can be used for another a patient unfortunately we cannot offer patients a car park facilities but there are public car parks in the nearby central shopping center the um the shopping center surrounding areas please bring the letter with you for please bring the letter with you to your appointment yours sincerely i didn't read that bit about bringing the, the appointment letter with me so basically that appointment with a doctor that's actually a mental doctor i'm sure it is anyway but all will be revealed on that date i will i will do another video on that date sometime before midnight that date hopefully if any other distractions come with my computer or some sort of garbage thing so basically that will be the last appointment with a, with a mental with a mental doctor and then after that they they should they should discharge me straight away back to my gp basically so the, G, the gp will, will, will oversee my medication and stuff I'll still be classed as mentally ill but I'll, I'll be basically I'll be having the, the care sector the primary care sector looking after me looking out for me or sort of like 
overseeing me will be the GP and if there's any problems after that, if I get ill again they'll refer me back to the primary care team, back to a CPN if I get ill again so that's literally it, so I mean this is what happens when when, we, when we're patient and, and this is what can happen if we're patient in what we do in life and if we don't get stressed and don't cause trouble and don't cause arguments or any kind of unnecessary stuff you know stuff that can be dealt with calmly and normally without uh, without without making an argument or without making aggravations and wasting time and making unnecessary fuss if we try not to make unnecessary fuss about these things and an unnecessary fuss about life in general if we if we're doing that if we're doing that once if we if we're doing that if we're still in the caring sector of mental illness if we're still giving that keep kicking up that fuss and stuff then then we'll we'll end up being in there for a longer longer period but you know it depends on it depends on how we're behaving you know it depends on if we're getting on with life if we're getting on with life and doing our own things and getting on with work or keeping ourselves busy and occupied and keeping our minds occupied then eventually they will they, they can discharge you but you know don't don't beat yourself up about it if you haven't been discharged this year or when or or any sooner or anytime sooner don't beat yourself up don't beat yourself don't beat yourself up about it just you know try and stay calm if you can and just plow on carry on with life but don't don't get stressed about it you know you never know just pray just pray and obey God obey the Lord Jesus and and eventually you'll get your time you know like the Bible says if you write it on the search engine it says in the, if it, it says in the Bible if you write in the search engine for your shame you will for your for your shame you will have double but you know don't worry you know don't don't worry don't worry about what you don't worry about being on the on the don't be don't worry about being on the mental illness mental illness service don't be don't worry about being on mental illness services because because of your age don't be worried about it because of your age being on a mental illness service you know don't don't let it beat you down because you could easily say to God you know from now on from from when I from when I get discharged I want to I want you could easily say this to God you can say from when I get discharged I want to live triple the triple the lifespan I've wasted you know, on a mental illness service or triple my age span right now right here right now triple my age span because they say the brain the brain the brain can live up to a thousand years up to a thousand years so you can easily beat that whatever you've lost you can you whatever you've lost you can regain it so nothing's literally lost and you know who knows you can you can out you can even probably outdo that 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 those scientists that say the brain can live up to a thousand years you could even prove them wrong because we're spiritual beings, we're human beings, and we're also we're also spiritual. You know, it, it's not. You know, it's not about whether it goes without saying. It's just, it's it's just the fact that we are we are spirit beings. So, but the most important thing with me encouraging you with this video and telling you this news, don't beat yourself about. Don't beat yourself up about it because you're not discharged and you're s and you're still ill and you, you're still getting seen you're still getting seen by nurses don't try not to beat yourself up about it just try and try and you know stay calm obviously and just just obey God obey God on a daily basis if you can only if you can just ask God when in your quiet times what do you want me to do today it doesn't really matter what day or time it is just ask and God can always say something small or simple for you to do tomorrow and you know always always test these things when you do things for God because just like the Bible says the Bible says test these things when you hear when you hear these things from God um,
if you want me to point that scripture out then just message me down below and I'll point it out to you I'll give you the scripture just just refresh my memory of what I said in the video and yeah yeah that's literally it so so that that's all I've seen in this video so God bless take care and peace with you peace with you bye for now shall we